it's Ariana, welcome back to my channel. So for tonight's video, we are doing a test on the Perfect Repair Treatment Mask. So this is an item that I got in my FabFitFun box this season. So this was in the fall 2020 FabFitFun box. And it is a prickly pear <laughs> uh, treatment mask for your hair. So it says, bamboo and creatine fortify deep conditioning treatment for smoother, stronger hair. Apply from ends to scalp, leave on for three to five minutes and rinse. Warning, avoid contact with your eyes. If contact returns, rinse. Um, it is cruelty free and this mask seems really awesome. So just pulling it up on the website. Nature's Lab Tokyo Repair Treatment Mask. So get back to your roots with this deep conditioning treatment mask that restores dull hair from scalp to strand. Smart keratin technology fortifies the hair cuticle and penetrates the cortex to rebuild body and revitalize shine. Potent plant stem cells from bamboo strengthen the hair shaft and promote healthy hair growth while antioxidant rich argan and prickly pear oils add a protective luster. Damaged hair is visibly improved and new hair sprouts stronger. So as you guys know, if you are a returning subscriber of mine, you know that I have alpecia in the back of my head and I'm always looking for something to help regrow my hair back a little bit stronger so that I don't pull it out from the fucking scalp, my scalp again. Um, so I do have traction alopecia, so that is from me using um, the same hairdos regularly. If I have my hair up in like a high ponytail or like a tight bun, that can cause traction alopecia. Traction alopecia is bald spots in the back of the nape of my neck um, that are regrowing right now, so that's really great. But I do have two little bald spots in the back of my head and they look like that. So they're right there in there. Um, so I do have traction alopecia. I've already gone to the doctor and I already have a treatment for it, which is why it is growing back. Um, so I'm fortunate for that. But I'm really excited to try this out because I've never actually used anything with prickly pear in it and I don't really know what prickly pear is. So we're going to look it up right now and see why that is so um, needed in this item as an ingredient. Prickly pear oil makes a great hair conditioner due to its high concentration of vitamin E, which is one and a half times as much as the very popular argan oil. So it makes for a really, really great hair conditioner, um, it makes your hair look great. It can also protect your hair from the sun and rejuvenate your hair damaged. Um, so that is basically what this already said. So that's really cool. I'm really interested to try it out and see if I like it. So on the website, when I'm looking at this particular item, it says, it has a heat protectant and a cool protectant, and you get 200 milliliters, which is, I believe, what I got. Yeah, 200 milliliters. It retails for 16 USD, and it's clinically proven. 81% of consumers saw an improvement in hair health and appearance in just 30 days, free of parabens, sulfates, and pithlates. It's inspired by Japanese bamboo forests with a hint of green tea and cypress. When I did my FabFitFun unboxing, I was smelling it, and I was trying to figure out what the scent was. It still smells like kind of cucumbery to me, but it also has like a really, really, really hint of something that's in like a salon brand hair care. So like dry shampoos and like hairspray, it kind of smells like that. It re reminds me of like a dry shampoo that I use. Um, honestly, it smells exactly like my detangler. So I have been using the Unite 7 Seconds Detangler and it smells exactly like that. That is what I'm smelling. So that's what I've been trying to figure out for the last couple of days now, what smell this is reminding me of. It smells like my detangler. So this smells exactly like it. And that's really great because now my hair is literally just going to smell like this scent. So it's green tea and cypress. It has results, healthy scalp, soft strands, revitalized appearance for damaged color treated hair. So directions are for damp or dry hair, begin at the ends and work up to the roots until hair is saturated. Gather hair in a loose bun and let it sink in for three to five minutes. It's all it takes. Rinse style wow so I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm going to have a bath and I'm going to use this on wet hair so I'm not going to show you guys on camera me getting my hair wet and me putting this on my head because that's not really necessary I am just gonna go downstairs and have a normal bath and use this like I would any deep conditioner and I want to show you guys my results so it says bamboo stem cells works to strengthen hair and promote healthy hair growth by extending the anginine phase of the hair growth cycle. So that's really cool. Smart keratin penetrates into the cortex of the hair while reinforcing and protecting hair surface. Argan oil provides extensive conditioning and restores luster and diminish frizziness. And then prickly pear oil is rich in antioxidants. This is lightweight oil, shield strands from UV, and free radical damages. So I'm really excited to go try this out. It has really good reviews on their website. There is a 182 reviews and it has a 
4.9 star rating. It definitely is very inexpensive. It only retails for $16 and it's really not that expensive considering it is a higher end item. So it smells really nice, it looks really cool, and I'm very excited to go try it. So this is what my hair looks like before I go downstairs and do this. So as you can see, my ends are frizzy and damaged and I do have color treated hair. So my hair is obviously lightened. I've done color erasers on my hair, I've bleached my hair myself, I've gotten my hair bleached at a salon and my hair is very damaged. So as you can see from the ends, my hair um, needs some definite hydration, it needs some love and I'm always on the market to find hair masks and stuff that are going to help stop the frizziness of my hair, stop my hair from breaking, and stop the nape of my neck from getting so freaking tangled because I end up getting knots all through here and I'm not usually able to brush them out without ripping my hair out. So I'm always on the market to find something that's going to help with that and I'm hoping this is going to be my saving thing because these ends are awful. <laughs> so this is what my hair looks like going into this mask. I'm going to go downstairs and I am going to apply this. So as you guys know from watching my channel, I don't leave things on for the recommended amount of time. It's just what I personally like to do. I leave it on for about half an hour to 40 minutes every single time I do a hair mask and that is what I'm going to do. I don't ever go downstairs and leave something on my hair for three minutes. That's just not something that I do. I know that my hair wouldn't really react to it if I left it on for that short of a time. So I am gonna go leave it on for about 30 minutes and then I will come back up here and show you guys my results. So I will take a photo and I'll put it on the screen here. So you guys can see what my hair looks like going into this mask and then we can see what my hair looks like when I come back upstairs. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna take the photo now and then I'm gonna come back upstairs after my bath and we can talk and chat about this mask and how my hair's feeling and what the results were. All right, so I am back after my bath and I think my hair feels really, really nice. It's really, really soft right now. It's still a little bit damp just because I don't fully dry my hair when I do dry it just because it's not great for your hair to do that. So my hair is still a little bit damp, but it does feel really nice. It feels really soft. Um, it smells really good. It didn't have too, like, strong of a scent at all so it didn't bother me when I was in the tub. My hair was really easy to detangle once I was out of the shower and it was really easy to brush through. I did spray a little bit of Moroccan oil and my detangler on it just because that's what I already always do and both of those things have a heat protector in it so I always use them before I use a hot tool or blow dryer on my hair. So my hair feels really really nice right now. I would definitely say that this is a mask that I'm going to want to be using quite regularly probably once every couple days. Maybe every time I wash my hair, I'll use this mask. The website did say that people saw a really, really big difference in their hair after 30 days of use. So this is more of just a first impressions just to see how I liked it. But my hair does feel really nice. It is a little bit dry feeling still, but that's just my hair in general. It is kind of on the drier side. So there is masks that I have tried in the past that have been a little bit more moisturizing. So I will say that this isn't the most moisturizing mask, but it is a nice mask. There is water, there's alcohol, there is coconut oil, there is a bunch of words I can't say, there's avocado oil, there is keratin, there is a corn protein, a wheat protein, a soy protein, kernel oil, there is brea seed oil, there is mango seed oil, there is a bunch of stuff. So I will say that I do not see a, a silicone ingredient in um, the ingredient list. So maybe that's why my hair doesn't feel as soft as it usually does when I use masks like this because most of the masks that I get at the drugstore do have silicones in it and that usually helps me with my hair feeling like it's a lot more soft and less dry feeling. But my ends don't look bad at all. I would definitely say it helped with the frizz. Ends are still a little bit frizzy, but nothing like they were before I did this treatment. So I will say that this is something that I'm gonna be continuously using. My hair does feel really good though. So for not really having much other products in it besides this and like detangler and a Moroccan oil, which is the, the spray stuff that I use for, it's like a color treated thing. So besides that, I don't really have any moisturizing 
ingredients in my hair besides this mask so I will say that my hair does feel really great and I am pretty impressed especially for the price so $16 for 6.7 fluid ounces which is 200 milliliters is really great price and I probably will repurchase this again if I do see a big difference after I use the whole jar so I probably will continue to use this this was just my first impressions my first impressions of it are pretty good I did think it was a really nice mask it smells really great and my hair feels really great so I'm pretty happy with that so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this and as always please do your own research on these products if you don't agree with some of the ingredients that are in it or you don't want to use some of the ingredients that are in it make sure you look up the ingredient list before you use it obviously i got this in a subscription box so i didn't actually purchase it myself but i will list in my description box down below some of the ingredients and why they are in it and what they are used for and if you are interested in looking up all of the ingredients you can definitely find their full list of the ingredients on their website so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys at the next video bye